guys, my name is Crystal. Um, I'm a registered nurse at one of the ICUs here in London. I won't say the name or the facility just for privacy purposes. Sending this video out to everybody and anybody that would be interested in a virtual choir. I don't think that's the only name used to describe this project that we're doing. Basically, we are looking at making a video, a recording of a song that would be able to spirits among other nurses and I hope in the public as well a little bit. We all are going through a really difficult time right now and I think we're all just looking for something positive, especially if you enjoy singing. So that I make this instruction video and also an invitation. Now I just opened up the invitation. Join this video to the two ICUs my facility is associated with. That being said though, if you know anyone that's at another facility or someone that would really like to get involved, anyone who's working in the healthcare industry, I should say really, you know, but yeah, down to the instructions. One of the main inspirations for me doing this video was one released by UBC. They did a project quarantine video of people virtually singing When You Believe in Miracles and I'll link it down below so you can check it out. And if you haven't seen it, it's probably the best example of what we're kind of aiming for with this project. Actually, we're gonna gather recordings of everybody doing their part. The song we're gonna do for this is Beside You by Mariana's Trench. I chose this song is it's Canadian. The lyrics I think really apply to us as healthcare providers right now. I think it's a good message and it's a newer song. So yeah, preparing to do your video. One of the major things for filming on your phone. So you don't need any special equipment for this, you just need your phone. Can you please just check your camera setting and make sure that it's set at 1080p at 30 frames a second. That would be the best quality recording. I don't think you need to go any higher than that uh, because of the, the size of, of what your video is gonna be in the bigger shot. When you go to film, hopefully you can do it during the daytime. I'm filming this at nighttime so you can probably Notice the difference. Try and film it with your light source away from you. Right now, the way I'm filming, my light source is in front of me. Also, try and use the back camera if you can feel confident not looking at yourself on the screen. I would like for this video, because it's unique in the sense that we're doing healthcare workers for the first time, people could wear um, their stethoscope in the video. So if you have yours around, it's clean. You know, just pop it around your neck. I think that's a great signifier. I know also at our facility, a lot of us have these caps right now. So, you know, when I was doing mine, I put my cap on just because it's like, you know, that signature look for this right time and period. Either or, whatever you'd like to do. Well, ideally, um, I prefer if everyone films camera up and down versus like a widescreen shot. That again will just help us fit all the frames onto one screen when we meld together the images. Last thing, uh, I know when I was filming, I was holding onto my camera and you know, you just get caught up in the song and you're like shaking the camera. If you do have someone camera for you or you can rest it on a safe spot or you have like a selfie stick that you can use, that would probably be best. Actually singing. A couple options for you if you're the best singer in the world, or you're just, you know, you enjoy humming a tune, you can participate. <laughs> you're gonna see down below is four links to four versions of the song we're doing. You don't need all of them for your recording. There's four, four items here that I wanna tell you about. The first is just a bass piano melody. It's just the Beside You song with someone playing the piano. There's two other recordings. One is titled Lead Vocals, and one is titled background vocals. You need to decide if you wanna be a lead vocal or a background vocal. If you are a background vocal, a lot of the singing is ooh, ah, it's more harmonic, and the lead vocal is the lyrics. Now, both these videos are yours truly singing, and I by no means think I'm a great singer, is 
just to act as a marker for you. I went to virtual videos, they've had true conductors come in. Think of me on there as your friend in the car, singing along with you, keeping you accountable for the rhythm and the beat. The reason we're using this piano melody in my voice versus you know, just using like a karaoke version of the song is because it needs to be under three and a half minutes. So that's why we're doing that, if you wondered. If you choose to be a background vocalist, again, it, it's me again humming along. Um, so <laughs> please bear with me. I included the plain piano music in case someone's just like, I cannot listen to your voice. It is horrible and I can keep better you know, timing and track. That's totally fine. The very last set of music that's down there is me layered. So I wanted to give you a demo today. I wanted to be able to show you like what our video could possibly look like. I unfortunately don't have the tech support right now to do that. We will have it once we get the video clips together, but I heard myself singing about five times and I just threw it onto that track. So you'll hear like me doing the, the vocals and the background. And the reason I did that is just to get a vibe of what maybe the finished product would kind of look like. I think it'll sound a thousand times better than that. But just if you're like thinking, oh, I don't think me doing this background music is any good. The idea of, of why it's like that. When you decide if you want to do lead or background, can you please let me know either I think commenting below is the easiest way to do that. Looking for about probably six to 10 lead vocalists. And the reason that is, is I don't really want anyone to be in a situation where they're the only voice in the lead. I like how other videos have layered a couple people singing each verse and chorus. If you decide to be a lead vocalist, you won't be the only voice at that moment. I also would really love if you could encourage other people to join and I think we only had about 10 people interested in the Facebook group again if you know someone that's in healthcare and they want to contribute please uh, show them this video please invite them to comment and get in contact with me with with the recording something about the virtual choir that's pretty synonymous among groups is you're gonna hear me on the recording going one two three clap. Could you actually clap when that happens? I have a dog that hates it when I clap. So if you can actually clap or make, say clap very loudly, tool to sync the videos together. You don't have to say one, two, three, like I do. You just gotta say, you know, clap or actually clap and we know where the song's starting. If you're deciding to film your video with a couple people in it, please go, go ahead and do that. I, I don't mind at all. Just try and keep it in the up and down shot versus the wide one. Social distancing. The other thing that's down below, you'll see a link to, is lyrics. I also have background. I put a little synopsis of the sounds you're making. Sometimes it's nice to see it it's spelled out. Little details for each of you. I'm, especially for lead vocals, can you check the lyrics? Because I did alter a couple of them to just make sure we keep with the healthcare provider motif and we're not necessarily sliding into bad relationship zone, which I think is what the song was initially wrote about. The other thing I'm gonna be looking for is quotes. Most of these videos either start and end with a quote. If you know one that you think is really applicable to the situation or one that's kind of just speaking to you, please let me know. So uploading the very last phase, you've recorded your singing part, you like it, you're happy with it, let me know when you're done. <laughs> And ideally you have your own Gmail address and Google Drive. You're gonna go in there, you're gonna upload the video in your own drive, and then you're gonna share it with the Gmail address I've given you, which will probably be something like ICU virtual choir one, two, three. Then this is kind of weird. This is we only share so many videos per Gmail address. I think there's only about 10 or 15. In addition, if you don't even have a Gmail address, I will give you the password to these makeshift Gmail address and I'll have you upload it into there. Timeline for getting this done. I would love to have these handed in. Let's just leave it a little open. I really want it done by this week. Hardest part of this project is the technical mastery behind closed doors of putting all the music together. I would appreciate it if to get them in as soon as possible. I think that's done for instructions. If you have questions, put them in the comments below. 
anything I forgot, I also will write them in the comments below. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Cannot wait to see your videos. Take care.